But it was only Seymour making an ice angel on the window. Splat huffed, plumped up his pillow, and waited some more. Santa has to come soon, thought Splat. But the rest of the night passed silently, peacefully, with not even a whisper. Christmas morning shone through Splat's bedroom window, but he was not the least bit excited. His little sister came in to wake him. I guess I haven't been good enough after all, said Splat. Told you so," said his little sister. "But you can play with Kitty if you like." Thanks," Splat said, in a little voice. Splat's little sister led him down the stairs. It was too quiet. There were no presents around the tree, and the rest of his family was nowhere to be seen. Because I haven't been good enough," said Splat. "Santa hasn't visited us, at all." But then Splat's family leaped out from behind the sofa. "Merry Christmas, Splat!" they cheered, and they were holding a really big present, just for Splat. It's the best Christmas present ever," cried Splat. 